Matt Chapman and Matt Olson are gone. It looks like others could be on their way out the door as well. Oakland is tearing it down to the studs, so we're going to turn our attention to their fantasy outlook because the team as a whole probably isn't going anywhere this season. So who should we keep an eye on for some fantasy value on this team? Yeah, I mean, you lose what Harrison's gone, Moreland, Lowry, Marte, Canna. I mean, it's just ridiculous what they've done, but this is what the A's do. Um, and I'm looking at that lineup and I'm like, well, uh, we want fantasy value here. I mean, you're going to have to figure out a couple of these guys early in the season, but I would think right now the only two that jump out to me are Seth Brown and Sean Murphy, and it's like ugh, still with them. Uh, 111 games last year for Seth Brown, 20 home runs, 13 doubles. Sean Murphy kind of the inverse, similar amount of games. Uh, so those are the only two guys that I'm looking at early on in the season. Maybe we'll see what happens in spring training, but right now I don't see many people rostering the A's early on. Steve, what do you think? You're not rostering anybody. Uh, who do you even recognize on this team? You know, you should be looking at when they start doing the call-ups in the minor leagues. Guys like Tyler Soderstrom who might be able to come up this year because they have absolutely nobody. Uh, the A's are going to be a team that you're going to consistently stack against because they're going to be trading both of their starters that are really left in Frankie Montas and Sean Manaya. They're not even going to be on the team probably come the All-Star break. You are staying far, far away from Oakland. Make sure to stack against them because this team, you want to talk about tearing it down to the studs? They're down to the foundation. And the foundation is just a team named Oakland Athletics. That's all they have left. Everybody is gone.